beloved loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ how are you are you well the Lord God speaks with us daily and leads us beautifully do you know what promise he gives today he says in Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 8 I hid my face from you for a moment but with everlasting kindness I will have mercy on you he says this looking at you, aren't you in a situation where you're thinking, has the Lord forsaken me? Has he forgotten me? Sometimes it will seem like the Lord has forsaken you. The Lord will forsake us, but only for a moment. Try blinking your eyes. It would be only for that long. He says with everlasting kindness, I will have mercy on you. The Lord is a merciful God. Because he had mercy upon you, the Lord speaks with you saying, My son, my daughter, I will have mercy upon you. All that aside, are you seeing this and wondering what is this new place that you are showing us? It is a place called God's storehouse. Are you thinking it sounds familiar? Isn't it mentioned in the Bible that is in the Old Testament? In the temple of God, they used to have something called God's storehouse. People would bring grains and other things and give them to be used by the priests, the Levites like this. Now the Lord said, set up a storehouse and make way for the people to give things to God. And why? Many poor people come to our campus daily with the belief that if we go to them, they will do good for us. Christians, non-Christians, widows, destitute children, many people with varied needs will come. Some will need rice, some will need oil. Some will need clothes for their children. In this manner, they will come daily. Then we thought so many people are coming with needs. And what can we do to them to help them? Then the Lord said, It isn't enough if only you help them. Give a chance to the people who come here and receive blessings. We have set up this storehouse of God in recent times. If you ask what can we do here, you can bring those things and donate them here. Some will bring rice, oil, soap, paste or children's clothes. We never take used things here. Everything is brand new. They will bring it and donate it over here. They will place it here. We have a place here called the helping center. We will take all of it and store it here. When the poor people come, we will welcome them and say Jesus Christ loves you and he cares about you. Whatever you need, we will give you. We give it to them and send them on their way. So many poor people come here. They come to the helping center and receive aid. Now, do you know who will rejoice looking at it? Yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus is rejoicing. His word says, He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord. If you have mercy on the poor, the Lord will have mercy on you. Doesn't he say, But in my favor, I have had mercy on you. Only if you show mercy to the others, will the Lord be merciful to you. So every now and then, even I will buy and bring things to contribute to this. That is a great joy to me when the poor people who come to this campus receive it and go. Do you know how happy they will be? Even the small children will be happy. The heart of Jesus will rejoice looking at it. That is why this has been placed. This is located in one part of the tabernacle of God. Even in your life, you should always be someone who does good and shows mercy to others. Then the Lord will have mercy on you according to his everlasting kindness. It is enough if he has mercy. Miracles will happen in our lives. The Lord is waiting to have mercy on you. So don't be discouraged. Don't be worried wondering if the Lord has forsaken you. If he gives this plan for some unknown poor people with so much concern, how considerate will he be about you who believe in him and continuously pray to him? How then will he forsake you? It will seem that he abandoned you for a moment, but the Lord will say, my hand is beside you. Give me your hand. I will carry and lead you. Don't be afraid. Try saying, Lord, you will not forsake me. You're merciful toward me and a great joy will come into your heart. Dear Lord, you will not forsake me. You will not forsake me, Father. You abandoned me for a moment, but you are merciful toward me. 
Praise be to you who is merciful toward me. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen.